and welcome back to Genshin Impact. So, uh, sorry. So, in today's video, we are, again, continuing the Academia Extravaganza. So, in the previous part, we basically finished off the first, uh, not we, but, you know, we ended the first... Sorry, we reviewed the first... Uh, basically the first trial or whatever. So currently in the lead with three points is Tainari. And then in second place is Tharzan with two. And Layla with one. And everyone else is tied for last. So that's Kave, Wanderer, Sino, and... I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. There's only six care. There's only six sub um. So that's right. Well, also while I was um after the last video, I actually unlocked the kind of like the actual you know how these big events. Usually have like stuff that you can do, like side things. That's how you earn the primo gems. So I was doing those, and I was able to get Kave, which means yet again I have all the current four stars. Okay, so I need to head over here. Sorry. I don't know what that was. Um, is it me, or are the bags under your eyes even darker than during the last round? Are you alright? Uh... Thanks for the concern, Kave. I just... <sighs> haven't been sleeping well lately. Even though I try to fall asleep, I can't get the championship out of my head. And before I know it, it's morning again. <sighs> I know the feeling. That happens to me too when I'm agonizing over my blueprints. Do you have any tips for dealing with that? To be honest with you, no. You could say there are many things that don't have a quick fix, and can only be endured. Hmm. I suppose you can think of it as something akin to an illness. Sometimes there's no effective cure, so you just have to let things run their course. I don't know what's stressing you out, but I can feel all the anxiety and pressure coming from you. The next round's about to start, so chin up and do your best. Ah, oh, okay. You do your best, too. Looks like everyone's here. I will now explain the second round to you all. There are three leyline disruptors buried in the area around Aru village. These devices can imitate the effects of leyline disruption and will constantly interfere with the environment. Your goal is to shut them down. The first three who manage to finish this task will be awarded four, three, and two points accordingly. Note that each person may only bring a set amount of food and water with them, and that leaving the designated competition zone will result in disqualification. Well, what do you think? Want to team up again? I shall consider letting you have the points on account of what happened in the previous round. That's all right. I've been here many times, and in any case, machines are one of my specialties. I doubt this will be particularly difficult. It's good to see such confidence in a youngster like yourself. I also happen to be well acquainted with this place. Let's see who will find these devices first. But aside from us, you should remember that there's a favorite for Champion. We must be careful of him. A favorite to win? Who is it? Shh, not so loud. I mean that boy, Tainari. He took first place in the previous round, and if he does so again this time, we may as well declare this competition over. I heard that you solved the Avithya Forest's leyline effluence problem with him not long ago. Since this round involves resolving a machine simulated leyline disruption, it should be a simple matter for him. Hmm, that's true. It does look 
look like his odds of winning are pretty high. He already has Kale, who is an excellent pupil. If he were to win this round as well, then wouldn't we just be letting him have all the fun? As his senior, it's my solemn duty to prevent such an inequitable arrangement from happening. I'm off. I'll get going as well. See you later. I feel like Sino's gonna win this round. How are you feeling? I think I'm okay. But I'll take things slowly for now. Uh, is this all the water we're getting? Sorry, that's what the rules say. While this round seems to be about how quickly you can shut down the devices, it's also testing your ability to survive in tough conditions. Uh, I knew it'd be harder than I had expected. So we'll either need to find the devices as quickly as possible, or we'll have to save our energy and wait for an opportunity. Uh, okay, I'll head out shortly. Thanks a lot, Nilu. You're welcome. Uh, please take care of yourself. Well, there goes everybody. Not everyone. So, who should we visit this time? Hmm. Let Paimon think. Oh, right! Didn't Farozan say that Tainari's the favorite to win? Let's go look for him first! I mean, they shouldn't be that far, they just left. <laughs> wow. Oh, so he is here. How did he know the rules? Was he just watching from a distance or something? Whatever. Also, since I did do all the booths off camera, I also managed to get the flowers on that they that you can can get. Which made me a lot more interested in using flowers on. I didn't realize how fun she could really be at C1. She's a lot more useful then. But I feel like C1 and using the sacrificial bow kind of makes her hard to use. Because you only have so much time before her skill resets. So you have to use her pretty quickly. That he should be around here somewhere. Tainari! Can you hear us? He's over there. You're right! Huh? Oh no, it looks like he's fainted! We have to help him! Tainari, are you okay? Uh, it's so hot. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, he has the, oh, he's the... so you passed out because of the heat! Uh, are you not used to getting around in the desert? So besides the Wanderer, but... Okay, he's already tough on his own, but besides him... Everybody else in Sumeru... Well, the other contestants have all experience in the desert, except Tainari. Because farozan has been here, Kaveh's been here, and Sino's also... He's pretty good in the desert. In fact, he's thrown it. Plus, in the last one, you also heard that Layla has come here before. So she's more used to this uh, area. That's right. I usually bring lots of water when I go to the desert. Precisely to avoid this situation. I went through all my water very quickly. And with the effects of the disturbed ley lines, I started feeling dizzy. My ancestors, the Voluka Shuna, were originally from the desert. But I guess this is what happens when a species migrates. They become intolerant of their original environment. Uh, this isn't the time for a history lesson. Let's get you some water. Humans. Such yep. fragile beings. Your bodies can't even survive extreme changes in the environment. I hate him. I hate this guy so much. He's really good. He's really fun to play with, but I hate how he acts towards everyone. And you consider yourself strong? Here, take this. Let him drink it. 
Yeah, it's not like he needs water anyways. He's not human. Which nobody knows except the traveler at this point. I like how they keep using these Are portraits. You <sighs> this had better be just normal water. Hey! You're leaving already? It seems it really is just water. Paimon <sighs> really doesn't get that guy. What's he up to? Ugh. Anyway, let's focus on helping Tainari drink some water first. I'm feeling a little better now. <laughs> ah, thanks, you two. Oh, it wasn't just the two of us. Just now... Found you at last. Sino, you're here too! I was concerned, so I came back to check on you. Will you be able to go on? The fur on my tail is so dry, it's practically been singed right off. I don't see any purpose in pushing myself beyond what is reasonable. It appears I'm not suited to this particular round. I should probably just return to Aru Village and rest. Really? So you're backing out? Yes. I do have my results in the first round to serve as a buffer, so even if I forfeit this round, I still have a chance to turn things around later. Withdrawing now will allow me to conserve my energy. Continuing to push onward would be counterproductive. I agree. A wise decision. Let's get you back to Aru Village. <sighs> it's fine. I can make it back on my own. Oh, stop trying to be so polite. Come on, we'll help you back to Aru Village. Oh, we gotta go to Layla. I feel like if anyone else is gonna back out, it's gonna be her. I think either Wanderer or Sino has the best chance of winning this round. Because Wanderer's not human, and Sino's the only one of this group who's actually from the desert. Oh, we gotta go lower. This area does seem like a smarter place to be because it provides more shade. How are you feeling now, Tainari? Do you want to rest some more? There's some shade here, so we can stop for a while. Uh, Alright, let's do that. Tainari. Uh, and you've got the Traveler and Paimon with you. Oh, hey, Layla! Yeah, the sun was too strong, so I decided to take cover here for a while. What about you? Uh, are you all done already? Unfortunately not. I'm not quite as capable as I thought. I intend to withdraw from this round. Sino and the Traveler are escorting me back to Aru Village. W withdraw Can you even do that? I believe the rules do provide for such a situation. Alhatham did say that the act of leaving the competition grounds would result in disqualification from- Didn't Oops. I ask you if you were alright before this? If you had just decided to withdraw then, you wouldn't have had to suffer. Well, I had to try, didn't I? So I tried, and it didn't work out, and now I'm backing out while I can. When I get back, I'm definitely going to make a batch of sun-resistant oil. Next time I venture into the desert, I'll be prepared. By the way, you're Layla, aren't you? You don't look very well yourself. Will you be alright? Uh, I did feel a little faint when I first entered the desert, but I feel a lot better after resting here for a while. Be careful not to push yourself too hard. Uh, don't worry. I'm just... Feeling the pressure? Uh-huh. Uh, you can tell? Your expression is similar to the ones I see on criminals' faces when I interrogate them. 
To tell you the truth, I'm still not sure whether I have what it takes to represent the Ratawa Hisdarshan in the championship. Most people voted for me because of all the rumors surrounding me, and to be honest, those rumors don't really mean anything. Now I don't know how to deal with all the expectations they've put on me. Even the people who usually criticize me voted for me this time. Uh, so I feel like I have to live up to their expectations somehow. So their expectations are putting pressure on you? Uh, yes. Uh, actually, I heard that you were voted in as well, Tainari. Uh, how do you deal with it? To be completely honest, I don't really feel any pressure. Firstly, those who expect things from you do not necessarily do so for benign reasons. On the other hand, those who do consider your feelings certainly wouldn't want you to push yourself. Next, we are researchers. Our primary duty is to interact with knowledge, not to meet others' expectations. As for me, I took part in this competition to advertise for an academic lecture at Gandarvaville next month. I'll obviously try my best during the competition, but I won't let any additional pressure get to me. I think you can also try to find a clearly defined goal. That may help you. Huh. I understand. Uh, thanks for your advice. Uh, I'm absolutely parched after talking so much. I've still got some water with me. No, I'll be alright. We aren't far from Aru Village, so I can go the rest of the way myself. You should get back to the competition. Don't you want to win that limited edition card? It's yes. weird I'm seeing his mouth move. All right then. Your spirit will live on through me. Hey, don't talk like that. I'm not dead, Sino. That's like the most emotion I've heard him <sighs> heard from everyone. I'll be heading back now. See you after the round ends. I mean, I'm not saying I want. I'll continue searching the, for the ley line disruptors. I'm just gonna say this. Yes, I completely agree with they should definitely do the right choice with changing the voice actor through Tinary. But the new one doesn't seem to have the same flair, you know what I mean? Like he doesn't really have that much emotion when he into his lines. Not as not as the previous one did. But I'll get over it. Are you feeling better now, Layla? Yeah, I feel like some of the weight has been taken off my shoulders after chatting with Tainari. It's been a long time since I first left my hometown to come to the Academia, and every day here has been so precious. But of course, there have been some rough times. All sorts of complex astrological models, countless quizzes, and essays that took all my brain power to barely finish. Each of those things are like huge boulders barreling at me, forcing me to continue running forward. When I was chosen as my Darshan's representative, it felt like another boulder was added to the ones already rolling behind me. Every time I close my eyes, I think of all the people I'd disappoint if I mess up. We would never be disappointed in you. Yeah, I think that's what Tainari was trying to tell me. You're our good friends, which is why you didn't stop him from dropping out of this round, and why you don't feel disappointed in me. That's right! No need to feel so down! Uh, that said, he did also say that he hopes I could have more concrete goals for taking part in this competition. Uh, I don't have any now, but I'll give that some thought. Anyway, I won't take up any more of your time. You still have to record the other contestants' progress, don't you? Perhaps they've had some breakthroughs while we've been chatting. True. We should go look for the others. Hmm, now, who's left? Tainari's dropped out for the round, and we just saw Sino. Uh, you could go see how Madame Farozan's doing. I've heard that she's quite knowledgeable about the desert, so she's probably made some progress by now. Okay, let's go look for Farozan! So yeah, Tainari was in first place, but after this he will no longer be. 
Because even if Sino or Wanderer or Kave gets it, that will put them at four, which he's at three. So basically, whoever wins this round will be in will be in the lead. And if Tharazan or Layla wins it, it puts them further ahead than any than anyone. But if any of the others, it'll just put them slightly above the others. If that makes sense. Not trying to be confusing. Oh. Let me just grab this real quick. Okay. Just... Hey. Dang it. Hey there, Faro-san. Have you made any progress? Ah, you're just in time. I'm about to start digging right here. Oh, you found the Leyline Disruptor already? <laughs> Such a simple problem could never confound me. Not long after entering the desert, I discovered a primal construct that was acting abnormally, so I followed it all the way here. Once I got near here, it suddenly disappeared. Something unusual must be happening around this area. You're a true expert, Madame Farozan. You know what to do right away. Well, I do happen to have more experience than most. But that aside, has anyone completed this challenge yet? Nope. Not yet. Well then, I suppose I'll be the first. What about that boy Tainari? He withdrawed from this round. Oh? And why's that? He's not used to being out and about in the desert. Huh. I didn't think he would have such a weakness. I suppose he could use a bit more training. What about the others? Is that Ratawahist girl still a bundle of nerves? Tainari gave Layla some advice, and she seems to be doing a lot better now. Sino just started his search for the disruptors, and as for Hat Guy, well, who knows what he's thinking? And what about Kave? Has he found a leyline disruptor yet? Paimon doesn't think so, or our locators would have already let us know. Strange. What's he lollygagging for? With his skills, you should have heard something from him by now. Well, I'm afraid the most thrilling moments are already done here. You should. Whoops. Sorry. Wait, what? Okay. Oh, we you just throw her down here. Okay. If I would have kept walking through like just a little bit, I would have seen him. Go! Ha! Okay. So he should be right up here. <laughs> yep, there he is. Come on, stop following me! I already gave you all the food I had on me! You can cry all you want. I don't have any more food. All I have left is a half bottle of water, and I can't possibly give you that. Without water, traveling in the desert will be incredibly difficult, and I still need to find what I'm looking for. Mirak, can you help me out here? Keep them away. Kaffe, there you are! Farazan told us to come see how you're doing. What are you up to? <sighs> Just thinking about it makes me upset. Not long after I entered the desert, I was accosted by these fellows. I don't know why, but they didn't leave the competition grounds. And now the ley line disruptions have left them confused and circling around the area. The moment they saw me, they wouldn't leave me alone. They even cheated me out of my limited food supply. Hey, didn't I ask you to keep them away? Kabe, is this flying metal thingy yours? <sighs> That's right. This is my toolbox, Mirak. Your toolbox? Huh. It seems pretty fancy. <laughs> uh, hey there! Excuse Can me? you understand us? 
What is it here with you? Sometimes I need to carry things when I go out, so it's handy to have a portable toolbox. Well, this definitely doesn't look like an ordinary toolbox, that's for sure. It's a long story. When I was working in the desert, I ran into a merchant group who had a machine core they excavated from some tomb. It was clearly from King Deshret's civilization. His technology still isn't fully understood, and Kasharawar has many different opinions on this topic. Our current theories cannot explain such mysteries. Upon seeing such a rare, complete specimen before me, I forked over all the mora on my person to purchase it. Some time back, I wanted to make an automated case that could store my offloaded items. With that core, I created Mirac. It can't understand commands that are too complex, but it can serve as my assistant and help me with things like mapping and surveying. Most importantly, it can't talk, so it can't give me any attitude. Oh, yes. Uh, thanks for helping hide the fact that I live at Alhatham's place earlier. Well, Paimon was the one who ga who gave it away in the first place. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> I hope this season of my life ends soon, so I can get things back on track. Things just started going downhill at some point. Maybe it all started when my mom remarried and left for Fontaine. Or maybe it all started when I spoke to Alhatham in the library. Or maybe it's because constructing the Palace of Alcazar's Array burned through my funds. I'm still paying off the debt from that one. Oh, when's this going to end? <sighs> now that I think about it, I guess we're all unlucky here. It's not like any of you asked to be trapped in a ley line disruption. Okay, let me get you all out. Kaveh, aren't you going to look for the ley line disruptors? Yes, but I can't just leave them here, can I? Oh, forget it. The more I think about this, the more I feel a headache coming on. I'll get back to searching once I get them out of here. Time's a wasting. I'm off. Kaveh looks like he's conflicted. He really wants to win, but he can't ignore those he wants to help. He can only do one or the other. Paimon's always felt like he's the type who easily gets himself into tough spots. Um, Paimon doesn't mean this in an insulting way, but he seems like the kind of guy who'd be really easy to take advantage of. Certainly cruel with your truth. Oh, someone's done already! That was quick. Right? Wonder who it is. Let's go back and ask Alhatham. Yep, so it's either... I'm pretty sure it's uh, gonna be Wanderer or Sino because they... Yep, they're not even here anymore, so it's one of them. There's literally nobody else it could be. I'm actually kind of hoping it's Sino because they do not want Wanderer to win because he is such a jerk. Kind of like El Haven's been to Kave. I understand people like both of them, but they seem kind of like jerks to me. It's weird. Phew. Huh? Can't even see anyone over there, so. Yep, oh, it's Sino. Which, at least it wasn't Wanderer. Verification complete. Congratulations on being this round's first winner, Sino. So he's now in the lead. Ooh, so Sino is the quickest. I am from Spontamon, after all. We know a lot about ley lines, so finding a disruptor was never going to be particularly difficult for me. Since the Traveler and Paimon also happen to be here, do you have anything you want to say? Anything I want to say. Hmm. My friend couldn't continue on, so failure was never an option. The bonds of yesterday will forge the road to tomorrow. With the ties of friendship that bind us, I won't lose to anyone. Oh my god. That's a line from King of Invocations, one of my favorite works, and it sums up my thoughts right now. Might be a good thing that Tainari isn't here, or else he'd give Sino a good smack right about now. I loved Nilu's face just a second ago. She was just enjoying it. That's so Sino. Oh wow, it's already so late. Everyone's probably running low on food and water. 
It'll only get harder from here on out. Something similar happened in King of Invocations. <sighs> what a classic. Any thoughts on that, Alhatham? <sighs> I have no thoughts regarding King of Invocations. <sighs> Nero obviously wasn't asking about that. Deserts are much more dangerous at night, so this competition should be nearing its end. At the moment, only Farazan, Layla, and Kaveh remain. Wait, what? I wonder who the next person to find a disruptor will be. Wait, well, then what about hat guy? Only three people are left? Tainari forfeited, and Sino's already done. What about hat guy? He also forfeited not long ago. Ugh. Paimon can't understand what he's thinking at all. But, like all Hatham said, this round's almost over. Let's go see what the other contestants are doing. So if it does get to night time, then it that'll give Layla she'll be pretty she's most likely to win then because uh you know her whole astrology thing. Plus the heat won't be as bad. Oh oh this is actually really pretty. Is it usually like this? Because I'm not usually in the desert a lot. It's one of my least favorite areas, but... Does it usually look this pretty? Or is it just this event? Phew. Oh, there she is. I'm Go. gonna collect these real quick. I don't even have Sino, but I just collect the scarabs just in case. Yeah, my, someone might need it later uh, than Hello I. again. You know, it suddenly occurred to me that you guys have had to do a lot of running around this time. Don't you find it tiring? It's not bad. Really? Wow. I don't know where you get your strength from. The desert's getting colder now that night's falling, and the wind can really sting your face because of all the sand in it. Uh, has anyone finished this round yet? Sino's already shut one down. Have you made any progress yet? I circled the whole area, but I didn't find anything. But I did have the chance to think some more about that thing that was weighing on my mind, and I realized something. And that... And what was that? Well, my fellow Ritalahist members must have all put my name forward for different reasons. And maybe a lot of them only picked me because they wanted to watch me make a fool of myself. But be that as it may, I believe that a lot of them genuinely do expect great things from me. And I want to live up to their expectations. Uh, I don't want them to regret putting my name down. Huh? Doesn't thinking like that put a lot of pressure on you? Uh, of course, that comes with some amount of pressure for sure. But now I've thought about it, I don't feel like this is something I have to do. Instead, it's something I want to do. That may not sound like a huge difference to you, but it's helped me relax a lot. <sighs> so don't worry about me. Well, that's great! Also, now that I've relaxed, I'm suddenly really sleepy. Uh, I think I'll just take a quick nap. Just a quick one. And then she... I can see her finding it, because, you know, she sleepwalks. Hmm? Uh, but the competition isn't over yet. Oh, oh, Layla, Layla. She's really a bundle of nerves, isn't she? Wait, you're... Other Layla? Uh, good to see you, too. Ooh, it's nice to be out. Feels like I've been cooped up inside for quite a while. Oh, she has another well, personality? Since I'm here, I guess I should help her finish this. What are we supposed to be doing here again? Finding a Leyline disruptor, was it? Let me see... Hmm, looks like she's basically gathered all the information she needs. Ah, oh, it won't take long to wrap this up. Come with me, you two. I, I thought she just went to sleep and her body moved on its own. Not that she had an entirely separate personality. Do you ever get the feeling that the Lelines have a regular flow? 
similar to the way that celestial bodies follow fixed orbits. She talk. She sounds if so we different. If we were down from on high, I wonder whether we'd find that the ley lines are just the reflections of the stars upon the Earth. Not all astrological phenomena can be directly observed. Some are deductions based on other details that we know. It's the same situation with the ley lines. The parts of them that are hidden underground can be identified via elemental energy, sound, and other phenomena. I like this part. I like this side of her. I haven't done our hangout event, so that might be where this you find this out. Because it seems Plus, like the traveler knew this. Now that someone has shut one of the disruptors down, the contrast between before and after can provide me with further information still. Uh, let me see. It should be here, I think. Ah, this should be it, right? I'll turn it off. That should restore the ley lines in the area to normal. Nice work! Again, I didn't do any of the real work. I'm just wrapping up. She'll probably wake up soon. No doubt she'll be a little disoriented at first, but once she's got her bearings, she'll go and report that she shut down this disruptor. <sighs> Will you be staying here for a while? Or are you going to check on the other contestants? Can I stay here? Oh, time to check our locator. Whoa, it looks like Kaveh and Farozan are headed towards the same place. Perhaps they're about to find the last disruptor. Also, speaking of Kaveh, he's an interesting one. Huh? Why do you say that? Before the second round, he had a chat with the other me. He said that worries can be like illnesses. They don't always have a magic cure. Sometimes you just have to endure them as best you can until they run their course. But the way I see it, his situation is much worse than my other selves. She just hadn't found what she wanted to do at the moment, which is why she felt lost. Kave, meanwhile, knows what he wants to do. He's convinced that he has to win, and yet he still seems conflicted. He doesn't have a second personality, but somehow he still seems that he's at odds with himself in some way. Uh, I don't know exactly how to describe it. It's like he's smiling on the outside, but there's no joy inside, only sorrow. Still, who knows? He must be more experienced than me. Maybe he's just better at dealing with it all than I am. Hmm. Uh, oh, but back to the topic of wrapping up. Shouldn't you be getting back to the action to record how everything plays out? Oh, true. Okay then, guess we'll be going now. We'll keep everything you said in mind. Kaze and Farozan were super confident at the start, but it turns out they're the last ones to find a disruptor. But between the two of them, who's going to get there first? Hmm. Let's head over quick. So we're right about here. It should be around here. Finally found it. Kave? Are you? Oh, Madam Faruzan. And here I thought you would have finished this round by now. Faruzan, Kave! Oh, looks like Layla's already done. I didn't expect that you and I would find a disruptor at the same time. How are the other contestants doing? Tainari and Hat Guy forfeited, while Sino and Layla are already done. You two are the only ones left. Uh, huh? That's weird. Didn't you start digging really early on? Yes, I kept digging, but instead of finding a disruptor, I found a ruin. I fell down pretty deep, and it was completely dark in there. It took me quite some time to unlock the various mechanisms and return to the surface. That's... actually really impressive. Finishing a week's worth of trials in such a short time. <laughs> That's pretty amazing, Madam Farozan. What about you? Why are you so late? I encountered a lot of lost desert foxes along the way, and I brought them to the outskirts of the competition zone. When I came back, I was absolutely parched. And then I blacked out. Probably from the heat, you know? When I woke up, it was already night. I used the last of my strength to come here. 
The most curious reason indeed. Ah, uh, but are you sure you're all right? It sounds like you were in an incredibly dangerous situation. You said you were familiar with the desert, but the way you handle problems... It does feel rather at odds with your title as a genius. <laughs> it was problematic, but that had nothing to do with me being a genius. It was my decision. The way I did things wasn't optimal, but I wouldn't have been comfortable not doing it either. My conscience would have weighed on me. <laughs> Youths these days. Each stranger than the next. But back to the main issue at hand. Since we are both very certain that this is where the final Leyline Disruptor is, let's dig it up then. Well, this is indeed it. Of that there is no doubt. But how shall we count the score this time? <sighs> what is it, youngster? You seem relieved. Oh, nothing. I was just thinking that this round's finally over. There shouldn't be any more innocent creatures getting wrapped up in danger. As for the points, I guess we can draw lots again later. I can't think of anything better. Alright, in that case, let's all head back to Aru Village. Paimon thinks you'll both need some water and rest. Hmm. Okay, so... Besides the last points that we need... So, the last one... If Thar was on... If it's Thar was on, that's four points on her. No, not four. That's... Wait. Wanna come over for tea? No, yeah, that's... that's Whatever, I forgot how much I forgot how much points third place gets. But both Sino and Layla are now in tied for first because since Layla was in second place this time, she got three points and she had and she won she was in the first third place third in the first one. So that puts her at four. And Sino won this one, so he's also at four. So they're both tied for first. But anyways. Sorry for rambling, but I like to thank you all for watching this video. I hope you've all enjoyed it. I hope you like and subscribe, and have a great day. One client, two clients, three